guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode in FIFA 18. We are just about close to wrapping up this entire series and FIFA 18 as a whole, to be fair. We're coming to the end of 2020 in this one as well, and we've still got the month of November. Once we get through this, we've got a stacked December to get through with plenty of games and then the final transfer window of this season and of this series. It is obviously the 1st of November. We only just played a game on the 31st of October, so we've only got a two-day break in between that game and this one coming up against Real Sociedad. So I'm likely going to sim this game and play the other Champions League game we have again uh, later on in this, in this month. An offer has come in for Alexander Mitrovic for 33.7 mil. I might try to get something for him because right now we have uh, Timo Werner, the package, who's just been brilliant. We have got... Uh, Dimitri Oberlin and Tammy Abraham. So Alexander Mitrovic, is, it's going to be hard for him to get minutes. Apparently, we couldn't get much more for him than that, to be honest. And even if we could, it would only be a couple extra mils. So I may as well just accept that straight away. My basically fourth choice striker right now has moved on from Newcastle in real life anyway. So that's more cash we've brought in. And you know I want to go big in the January trench window because it's probably going to be my last one. We'll sell all the players that aren't going to be playing all too often for the rest of the season, bring in as much cash as possible, and hopefully bring in some stars. And of course, monthly scanning updates in Croatia. We've got Branislav Horvath, who looks like he could be a maybe decent player. Not the highest overall, but look at that, 700 grand worth of value. So we went ahead and signed him in Romania. It doesn't look... Uh, we've got a 66 rated bloke here who maybe looks like he's got a pretty high potential and value is a bit not great. I think there's a few others. Oh, wow. A 75... Max overall player with a ripping potential and 600 grand worth of... Okay, that's actually a lower value than the last bloke that we got, but wow. Max overall 75 means I immediately am bringing him in. I knew we'd find someone good in Romania, at least someone. And in England, unfortunately, it doesn't look all too good. Although, although this bloke, Tyler Bailey, looks like he's got a pretty decent haircut. It's a shame he doesn't have a good potential because I would have signed him just for that alone. Although Oscar Griffiths, again, I remember looking at this bloke before. He's probably the best player I've seen so far. And he is probably the best English player there. You know what? I might as well just bring him in since he's really the only good player I've seen from England so far. But okay, let's see how we go in this Champions League game against Sociedad. It is a way. A lot of my players are very tired because of the fact that we've only just played. But my full strength team is out there. Milinkovic, Savic, Mr. Penalty, which could have won us the game. Although, that's not good. I'm sure Bayern Munich have probably beaten Rangers now and gone top of the table. Maybe they've pulled out a draw, who knows, but we could have won this game. Malinkovic Savage has missed his pen. Well, that's not ideal. We do have another game now in the Premier League against Wolves, which I will be playing. We've moved around the team just a little bit, of course. Obviously, we still have things like uh, a couple of injuries that we have to accommodate for. Malinkovic Savage has got the center attack and midfield spot for now with the injury to Sabitza. Olwar is still out as well. Patrick Wilson's gone in as the new starting goalkeeper now that he's at the same overall as Strakosha. And I do have... Uh, on, uh, who was it? Uh, bloody, <laughs> have I forgotten my own players? Carrasco has unfortunately been pretty, uh, he's quite tired. So I've got uh, our Youth Academy player, Javier Gonzalez, starting at left midfield. The rain is coming down today and uh, we'll see how that affects things. But I think I can remember the last time I played Wolves away, we won six or seven or something crazy nil. Like it was a massive victory. I, I don't know, I've got a lot to live up to. Five of the back defense to worry about and to try to get past. I think I can remember selling Dwight Gale to this mob as well. Weston size the midfield. And there he is, Dwight Gale in the middle. Alvarez and Cavalero on the right-hand side. I do remember the last time I played these boys, it went pretty well for me. But is it going to happen again? Well, he's given that up poorly. Really poorly. Has it opened up for Malinkovic Savage, whose shot's gone well wide. Oh, we nearly uh, overhit that one, but in the end, it's actually going to work out brilliantly. And Davies with the pace can maybe go... Oh, well, they've opened up for him here. Can he, he can... Oh, I, I, I nearly thought he was going to have enough time to shoot, but it was blocked. Oh, and then off the post. There we go. I just got to get the ball to Timo Werner right now, honestly, because... Every time I try to build up and create a nice passing move, it, it, nothing, it never happens. Everyone either takes a, a heavy touch right at the end or, or, or the play or runs off the ball. No, I'm just going to give it to Werner, run through the defense and score. That's literally all I've got to do, honestly. Look, gave it to him, created the uh, space there, and I thought it was probably going to get blocked, but no, somehow found, found a way through. Oh, they're going around the outside here. This is the only way that they're going to score today, so we cannot let them do it. Yedlin, thank you very much. And are we able to maybe... Maybe pick off a second before half time. That would be brilliant. Ramsey, keep your feet, please. Just gets there in time, and now we send away Davies. Fake shot. 
Oh, still couldn't get to anyone. Everyone was covered. I wanted to. I was looking for the pass, and everyone was covered. Then I thought about fucking shooting myself, but I got tackled in time. They're five at the back. They will not. Uh, even though they're down, they will not change to anything else. They're always going to have numbers back, and finding space is going to be hard. Wolves are just not a good team. They can only score. They're just throwing as many numbers back as they can to try to defend, to try to not leak any more goals. And the only way that they can score is off of a fast counter-attack, which, to be fair, they've nearly come close to getting. That is what I'm fucking talking about. Down that right-hand side or down the wings, cross one in, and they whip in a header. Gale, of all people, leaps up and wins that header. I might have to take off Kurzweil because he felt really slow there as well. And that ball, once again, on the money, perfect. That's the only way they're going to score. On the counter, running down the wings, using the pace of their wingers and crossing it in. We know how they're going to score, yet we still couldn't fucking stop it. Have we timed him in? I think we might have, you know. We might have. Bang. All right, we've got it back straight away, it feels. Excellent stuff. It's Everyone's pressing very high. All the def defensive lines are... Very, very high, I'll be honest. Even though Wolves have so many, like, they've got their five at the back. They do get back quickly, but that wasn't really the best of finishes from Timo Werner. But he's got a brace. Very good. Delivery at that near post, people. Are we going to get it? Sergei wins the header, but saved and kept alive as well. And they're going to get it. Ah, just missed. That was so close. We've got it at the right end of the ground, even though there's five minutes left to go. But I hate the fact... I'm having to grind out a win here against this shitter team. It is so annoying. Oh, I've only seen Timo Werner way too late, though. Fake shot if you can. Fucking fake shot. Oh, I fucking hate this game at times. It doesn't listen to you. And thank God that's over. Man, this game, I swear at times, it just, it can't react quick enough to what you try to do. You think, you, oh, just right at the end there. We could have got Timo Werner a hat-trick. Had he actually done the fake shot that I was intending to do? You shoot, you press A, alright? I do that all the fucking time. You see me abuse it all the time, but sometimes it just doesn't work. I pretty, I'm pretty sure I know how to fucking do it. The game just cannot fucking... Uh, I, I try to do it, I try to execute it. Apparently it cannot react fast enough and it thinks I'm shooting. It's a pain in the ass. That game is a fucking joke, but at least we got the right result. These are skill moves and fake shots and moves in the game I've been doing for fucking years now. I know how to do them, so surely this shit should not continue. Uh, it should not continue to happen. Ah, uh, oh well, we got the. Uh, I've got to forget about it because you have games like that where it just it doesn't. Fu nothing seems to be working, but somehow, thankfully, our team is that good and Wolves are that shit that we somehow managed to win anyway. But Mitrovic, we've sold him for twenty eight mil. And Andre of Frank Zambo and Guisa, do we maybe look at selling him as well? I could definitely get by without him. Although, I think we have sold... Is it Maria? We, we've sold another centre mid, I think. And I just wonder if we sell Zambo and Guisa, do we leave ourselves short? Okay, yeah, we did sell Marino for about 35 mil. We did pretty well out of that. But, okay, we don't have Marino and we don't have Anguisa. Who do we have left? We would have Shelby, Owa, Ramsey... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting someone, another centre midfielder as well, but we have Milinkovic Savic at centre attack mid that we can move down to centre mid as well. We've got uh, some bits when we get back. We've got a lot of depth in that area. I think we can sell Zambo and Guisa. We are going to go all in for the January transfer window. I, I can promise you that. I just got confirmation too that Anguisa has sold, so that's another 25 million in. And Guest is now up to a 70 or 68, sorry, should I say, with his overall. I think when Alfonso Davies gets to an 85 as well, I'll stop giving him drills and we'll give them to Youth Academy players once again. But yes, let's play this next game. Pretty much everyone in my team is at 100% stamina due to the two-week-long break, internationals, whatever it may be. But yeah, come on, bring it on. This is going to be... Fantastic. I can't wait for this. We've got a fully fit team pretty much. Had uh, We've got to put Shelby in there as well. Marino and, and Goisa, now that they're basically sold on, even though they haven't, they're still at the club, I'm basically thinking what life is like without them. So we're playing with Shelby and Ramsey and that centre midfield partnership, see how they're going to go. We've been playing with them forever before anyway, so they'll be fine. Malinkovic, Savage up top, and everyone else really the exact same. Honestly, we've just, we're just missing OR still. And Sabitza, when we get those two back, that's it's going to be brilliant. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, are my eyes deceiving me, or is that Marco Royce at Watford? What in the world? What sort? Okay, I know we're four. I know we're four seasons deep, but Marco Royce at Watford seems unreal. That okay? All right, cool. What else? I need to see what their team lineup looks like. Okay, their back four looks pretty self-standard. Chalabar, Decore, the centre mids or the CDMs, anyway. 
Where is Royce playing? He's on the left center attack in midfield side, I guess, and Andre Gray at striker. So the team is pretty average. It's the same old Watford side. I think I saw Fabregas on the bench. Surely not the Cesc Fabregas. Oh, we'll find out then. Oh, well. Oh, that opened up brilliantly, but Cavasale recovered and got a block on Milinkovic Savage. Maybe it took a bit too long to shoot. That has somehow worked out, I think. Timo Werner. He's maybe going to get a shot through. He does in the end. He had a defender coming all over him. Somehow managed to shield him and get a shot off. But again, look at this. Blocked at the last second. All the goddamn time right now in this game. Yedlin is off here. He is off. And Werner has held his run brilliantly here. Surely. Oh, saved. The outstretched leg of Dahlberg. I maybe should have gone with the left foot and tried to curl it in instead of going for the low power driven. But bloody hell, you know this is FIFA 18. I always have to go for it. Look at that. Opened up up the middle. Not too bad. Sergey. Fake shot. Look at the space. The finish. Blocked again. They are fucking getting in front of everything, man. I swear. And, uh, fucking half time. It's nil-nil. And this game is interesting because it's fucking hard to score today. But it's not hard to score because I just can't figure it out right now. It's kind, kind of is. But it's hard because they're defending well. And because they actually go for it too. So they're kind of threatening in this game as well. So it makes for an interesting one. Nice. Oh, Ramsey. Please, man. Just, oh, keep it the fuck down. I just took off Shelby instead of you. Don't make me regret that decision. Oh, Werner. Lovely to get past. And finally. Oh, we finally find a way. Had to be him. Timo Werner, the package, had to have his say. He just did a, oh, we, we sent him through. He was, I think he had, he was just trying to get in behind that line and he did a little ball roll or something to get by the defender. I'm not sure how he didn't get that. I'm, I'm not sure how he got tackled like that, but again, just slashed it past the keeper this time. Dalberg's made a few good saves, but he's not stopping that. Oh, finally, let's go back down to balance. We find a way again to score. Again, just like the Wolves game, I have to graft out a win. Sergei, he's, oh, he's not, oh, somehow that's got to him. That's an amazing pass. And still, I thought the referee was, oh my god, I got a bit confused there for a second. Am I going to shoot this? Nah, we'll move it out wide. Cross it. Oh, Cat Cart recovers. He's offside anyway. And now it comes down to this. Their goalkeeper's up. First time in a long time that that's happened. Oh my god, they've got people there. Anguis is going to clear it. Another corner. I'm just collapsing numbers in here. Just got to make sure we've got people in the way. It's at the back post. Clear it. Win that header. Win that header! You're, oh my god, off the post! You are a fucking disgrace, the lot of you! I will fu- Oh my god. Absolutely shocking, atrocious defending. I'm just pressing B for my fucking life. Please, for the love of god. It falls to them. It's there to be headed away. And they can't get it out of their own box. I'm- Oh. Every single time, they were basically just giving it back to Watford. Here, have a free shot. They hit the post at the end of the game and nearly won it. Had that gone in, I'd been furious. I might have thrown my controller at my fucking TV. I'm not kidding. Well, we win, somehow again, doing it the hard way. I did not want this episode to be me having a fucking graft out wins, but yet here we are. Oh, thank God. Thank fucking God we got rid of them. We got out. We got out. We just got away with that one. Simple as. That's it. Well, we have one more game in this episode. It is against Rangers who have lost every single game that they have played in the championship. And if we win it, we're through to the next round. It might still be possible even if we don't win, depending on if Bayern beat Real Sociedad, which surely they will. And even if they draw and we lose, I... Oh, yeah, no, it might still be possible. Uh, I'm sure, surely, we can do this against Rangers at home and walk away with, uh, with our progression to the knockout round. And this is the team we're playing. Once again, the back four is pretty much the same, except Mankio's going to start. Uh, Kurzer was a bit tired. The midfield's changed up a bit. We've got Gonzalez again at left midfield. Marino, Zambo, and Guisa at center mid. So the two midfielders that are actually going to be moving on in the January transfer window will be starting this game. And that is pretty much about it. One last game in this episode. I've had to, oh, I've had to struggle and I've had to work and find a way every single game, even against teams that aren't exactly the top tier in, in, in any competition. They're, they're not the better teams I could be playing yet. I'm just somehow managing to win each one. Can we please just have one game where it's comfortable and I walk out victorious with a 4-5-0 win? That would be awesome. Rangers, please, come on. You're just 
Oh, come on. We, we, I'm sorry. I, I've got to go hard. I have to be ruthless. Everything has to be flawless. Let's just have a clinical game of football. It's very simple. We win this game. We make it through to the knockouts of the Champions League. I have to fight to make sure that this is not the last Champions League game we play at St. James Park for this Newcastle career mode. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It is underway. Let's go. Lovely slipped in ball. Gonzalez has shot again straight at foddering him. God damn it, boys. I just... I barely had any of my Youth Academy players score except for that one game where I played nothing but Youth Academy players. It's just, I need a player like Gonzalez to step up. Otherwise, what was the point in even developing all these Youth Academy players? Nice. Lovely. Davies with the first! Well, that just was brilliant stuff. Milinkovic, Savage, the ball into Davies was perfectly placed and Davies just ran onto it. Has the pace to get by the defense and when the ball's that thorough and that beautiful, of course he's going to get it. Can he return the favour? Sergei Milinkovic, Savage! Oh, he can! Oh, Davies! He scored on a Milinkovic Savage assist earlier, and now Davies assists him right back only a few minutes later. Here we go, boys. It's it's looking good. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to continue to concentrate. The pace is too much! It is too much! And we are absolutely running riot right now. I promised you I said I wasn't going to say shit because I finally, finally maybe actually have this game in the palm of my hands after the, la after the way the last two went. Man, I just, oh, I just need to focus and just get as much as I can from this game as possible. Davies had the momentum and the pace and look at that finish again. Close, but no cigar. Look, I know it's pretty much impossible to score directly from a set piece, but I'm going to try it with Milinkovic Savage here. Going to try it! Oh, came close. Came close. Three minutes of stoppage time. Am I going to get enough time to pick out number four here? No, I am not. I didn't move it far. I didn't move it forward fast enough, but that's cool. It's fine. Three nil. Going in a half time. Dreamland. Honestly, I had a little period where I could just score every single time I went forward, and I made full advantage of it. Now we have got some a significant amount of breathing space, and I, I surely can't stuff this up. Surely the game's pretty much done. I've got a man down here. I wonder if that's going to kill this counter attack. It might do, you know. I really hope it doesn't because this may have just worked out. Oh, he's offside. I was waiting to see. Can you believe it? It's opened up here. Sergey. Oh, we've done him. Done him for pace and just changed the, changed the direction. The bridge kick to knock it past him. Oh, too simple. Too, too simple. It's two for Davies. It's two for Milinkovic. Savage, look at that. The sharp turn to go around him. And he's just got tremendous ball control and dribbling. So that way, you know he's going to be able to keep it pretty close. He's going to be able to keep tight control of it in that sort of situation. It's just awesome. Oh, he brought it down. Oh, I tried a little skill move the other way. Crossing one in. Can he win this? Header Sengasunda! Number five! Oh, at that back post, we substituted him into the game. Wunder doesn't get an awful lot of game time these days, but wow, that's a nice leap from a relatively short man too. I did the stop and turn away from them to create the space. That's a new one. And then crossed in to Wunder, who gets in front of his defender, and the header is, again, strong and well-placed past Fodderingham. And that's it. Nice little sidestep from Wunder to end it. An absolute battering of Rangers here today. It's 5-0. What a win. Werner doesn't exactly get on the score sheet, but that's not an issue at all because I did exactly what I wanted to do in this game, and that was just to have a thorough win, a convincing win, with no issues, no qualms, nothing. 5-0. I don't... It can... It can't... It really can't get that much better, honestly. It's just a thorough performance, exactly what I've wanted, exactly what I've been trying to do this entire episode. Did not even give them a chance. Just a brilliant victory, and we are coasting through to the Champions League knockouts. There is still one more game in this month. This game against uh, Leeds United, which I'll simulate real quick, get it out of the way, move on into December. It's another one of those games against a team lower down the table. They've lost all their last three. Uh, I've only had a two-day break, so it's the one I was always going to sim. And of course, a fucking away games. Oh, goddamn, Pete. You just... I'm trying to remember the last time I simulated an away game and got a win. A draw here or there. But even shitty old Leeds United have managed to beat us top of the table just because it's an away game. I can't believe it. Like, normally simulated games at the beginning of this series sort of helped me in getting a little higher up the table than I probably should have been. Now it's hindering me every fucking time. All the time.
Well, we'll advance again. This game against Reading, I believe, is the quarterfinals. Yeah, the, of the Carabao Cup. Another decent team to get this deep into a competition. And it's an away game, though. So I've got to really think hard about if I want to sim this and risk my place in the Carabao Cup. I mean, Reading are obviously not as good as Leeds. But you would really want to... I, I still don't want to test how bullshit away games simulated are in this, in this fucking game. Some good bit of news, though, is that Owa has returned from his injury, so we can now bring him back into the midfield, and that's just another pretty big bit. Uh, that's a pretty big player back from injury. Now we just wait on Marcel Sabitza. Well, another episode is down in the books, and we won every single one of our games, even though we had to work bloody hard for the first two of them. And then we go and simulate a Premier League game and just lose to Leeds because it's an away game. Even though we worked so hard to try to get as many points as we could in the Prem in this episode, I will see how things go in December, in a jam-packed December at that as well. Until that episode though, guys, my name is Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.